Oh, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the uh, European markets for the trading session Thursday, the 16th of February 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of the uh, next potential move in the market let's try and uh, discuss exactly what's happened this morning and then we'll certainly work our way from there uh, in terms of the Asian market certainly a mixed message with the uh, Nikkei down and the Shanghai up that was certainly the message that we received we had US equities certainly hitting new highs but no follow-through in terms of the uh, actual Nikkei which again is a negative sign and no real uh, positive uh, follow-through from the uh, the actual uh, Shanghai really either uh, in terms of the actual uh, direction, nor was there any real move in terms of European markets. Now, no real news in terms of uh, the actual markets today. Let's just quickly go to the uh, tweet deck here. Let's just quickly see if we can see the uh, latest information. Just bear with me. Uh, rescue by Russian Central Bank, etc. Let's just look at the main uh, information here. Bear with me. Just quickly loading that up for you. Whilst we're doing that, we can certainly bring up the chart of the German DAX. Okay, whilst we're here, uh, let's just quickly go to the daily chart first of all of the uh, German DAX. The daily chart you can see here certainly holding that key resistance at 11.850 in the daily chart, certainly signaling a risk aversion there or a potential top in the markets after closing that gap at 11.850. No real gaps are closed now. Uh, that was really the final gap that we had. Uh, certainly closed the gap on the downside yesterday, certainly flushed after closing that gap and now we're looking to potentially make a lower high with a, a key topping tail. I mean that's the telltale sign on the German DAX, a topping tail at Fib 75%. So certainly rejection very early on, uh, no real follow through in terms of uh, US markets obviously hitting new highs and that certainly is a divergence with the NASDAQ as well. If you, if you actually compare the NASDAQ and the uh, the German DAX now, certainly is not a positive sign. And you can see that the NASDAQ certainly pushing higher to new highs, whilst the uh, the DAX is actually rejecting new highs. So that certainly is a, a divergence that will certainly need to be exploited. So from my interpretation and my understanding, certainly that 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 that, that um, diversion divergence certainly will close. The NASDAQ will certainly be forced lower and actually have to be forced to realign with the uh, German DAX. So that's my interpretation based on intermarket analysis. Now, using my diagonal trend line, you can see that we're certainly into uh, potential resistance now. Just connecting my uh, diagonal trend lines here on a 10-minute chart. So the NASDAQ certainly is into resistance, looking for gap fill, first of all, and obviously looking to potentially flush lower. Now, if you do flush lower, then you do have first resistance here, at, sorry, first support here at 5290. Uh, the next support you're looking at is 5280 uh, and then you're looking at potential support down at 5260 so certainly looking for a flush on the Nasdaq today okay and obviously that will trigger the uh, global risk aversion trade as well so certainly look for weakness in the Nasdaq going back to the DAX now again all eyes on the H&S formation once we breach and break through this uh, 11.750 potential pivot low 11.740 once we break that then you are going down to gap fill gap fill is seen at 11.6 uh, 668 669 so that's your gap uh, certainly looking for that to close using your diagonal trend line analysis we can just basically connect the pivot highs together uh, any lower high will certainly be capped around this 11770 11780 and then obviously looking to move lower that's my interpretation on the uh, the german dax now moving on to the 10 minute chart whilst we're here okay looking at the 10 minute chart the german dax given the fact that the uh, 60 minute chart is bearish obviously looking for that key diagonal trend line to come into play looking for potential 11720 and then obviously ideally looking for gap fill at 11665 so that would be my aim on the downside okay and let's quickly go back to the news flow okay so let's see hopefully this is loaded is it not okay unfortunately i'm on my laptop and the, uh, the wi-fi isn't exactly spectacular here okay let's quickly go to the economic calendar for today really is all about inflate uh, australian employment data overnight that really was the uh, the main market mover uh, fdi investment certainly on the downside minus 9.2 percent certainly not helping the um, equity market rally from my perspective also the unemployment rate in um, in the front certainly increasing as well again certainly not helping either and you can see the front tra tra trade balance for italy certainly not exactly uh, uh, spectacular okay so but the uh, ECB monetary policy meeting report not really having much of a bearing uh, thus far. Uh, you had stats from the US so far. 
US housing stocks come out uh, slightly stronger than expected housing stocks here 1.24 uh, building permits as well coming in slightly stronger housing chain slightly weaker initial jobless claims certainly coming on the um, the actual uh, stronger side less than expected uh, and although continuing jobless claims certainly coming on the stronger side as well we are looking forward to NZD data later, uh, later on so certainly keep an eye out for that again nothing really major of many real importance yes you have the uh, French unemployment rate ticking higher which certainly has sent the French CAC down and certainly kept it under pressure but other than that uh, if anything you could probably argue the bearish bias is there so from my perspective given the fact that the lack of follow through on the upside in terms of the US markets making new highs is certainly a negative uh, perspective a negative principle in terms of the French CAC you're looking at double top certainly holding therefore looking for risk aversion now okay from my perspective uh, you have multiple gaps below that certainly need to close in the French CAC also you're looking at potentially carving out the top as well you can see there double top certainly held we've closed that gap as well uh, from my perspective if I was a trader my uh, my bias now from here would certainly be looking to short this uh, lower high so you're looking for a H&S top for my, in, in my book anyway okay so again I'll be looking to short my target will be gap fill below okay so my bias certainly is on the negative side here 10 minute chart as well let's just quickly zoom in uh, again all eyes on that gap at uh, 4895 okay so any uptick here on the French CAC my uh, basically bias would certainly be short okay so again well I already have a short position opened on the uh, on the FTSE uh, again looking to add some more shorts now on the European equities certainly looking to uh, short any type of weakness on the European equities okay certainly looking to uh, short the CAC given the fact that it's one of the weakest links for my uh, interpretation okay now going on to the FTSE 100 the daily chart has held at fib uh, 75 percent resistance so therefore looking for weakness there looking at the 60 minute chart on the FTSE 100 you have this HS formation so looking for the right shoulder to hold and then looking for the markets to flush okay so looking for weakness on the downside we are slightly seeing a uh, strength now given the fact that US markets certainly are open and certainly seeing some strength in the FTSE here uh, again if you do continue to push higher then you have gap fill at 7300 very unlikely from my perspective but you are now coming into resistance here at 7290 if that were to crack then obviously looking for gap fill at 7300 then you have resistance at 7308 and 7313 so multiple levels of resistance above that's my interpretation okay in terms of the euro stocks but last but not least let's just quickly cover that for you as well whilst we're here a uh, daily chart you can see here wall of resistance certainly looking for a move lower from my interpretation certainly expecting that move lower as well 60 minute chart again certainly topping out here uh, my interpretation again is going to be um, a HS top okay so you're looking at taking this pivot low connecting it across looking for a lower high and you can see this mini little heli HS formation certainly uh, forming here okay any any high here will be certainly a short opportunity in my book okay so again looking for gap fill below so certainly bias is bearish certainly looking for weaker prices let's quickly look at Nasdaq Nasdaq still pushing higher but again, looking for the NASDAQ to reverse and, and fall in line with the uh, German DAX. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that bonus. Goodbye now.